there's no question agriculture matters in the Lone Star State. In fact, Texas leads the nation in cattle production, with beef and dairy contributing more than $12 billion to the state's economy every year. But there's a major issue here, one that could cripple the food animal industry. Leonard and Lyle Keaton have been raising cattle in Wolferth for more than 30 years. They're experienced and take care of the animal's routine medical needs. But if a cow suffers a more significant issue, they could have to travel nearly two hours just to see a veterinarian. A lot of times uh, we have had a mobile vet that would come out in the past, but uh, and we use him still, but he is in a clinic now in Hobbs, New Mexico, which is obviously quite a distance away from, from Lubbock County. The Keatons aren't the only ones who rely on vets to keep their business up and running. Animal health is something you work on every day of the year. Harry DeWitt oversees the milking of thousands of cows in Friona, the location of one of his four Blue Sky Farms dairies. He says having trusted professionals is critical to maintaining healthy animals. You've got to be at your top game at all times um, in order to run a profitable operation. You want to produce a quality milk product, a quality uh, beef product on the end. We have a lot of protocols in place on how we check for disease. We have testing protocols in place. We have good vaccination protocols. All that is um, set up with uh, the help of our veterinarians that we do work with. And a healthy animal is uh, very crucial. The outside help that we can receive from veterinarians is very crucial. About 70 miles northeast of DeWitt's operation is Cactus Feeders, an Amarillo-based company that produces both beef and pork. Obviously, uh, vets play a very important role in our business in terms of helping us design animal health programs and animal well-being programs for the cattle that are in our care. Experienced veterinarian is uh, a bit of a, a scarce breed, if you will, in terms of uh, one that's motivated to practice large animal medicine. It's both physical as well as uh, intellectual in terms of its demands. Texas has more than 6,600 veterinarians. And even though 80% of the state is considered rural, there are fewer than 200 vets who specifically serve livestock in rural areas. So how's this trend turned around? That's where Texas Tech comes in. We hope it'll give more students the opportunity to get into vet school. And I think in a broader sense, we see this as kind of the last piece of the puzzle in serving the needs of the food animal industry. Responding to the needs of this vital industry, the Texas Tech University system announced plans to establish a College of Veterinary Medicine in Amarillo, combining the strengths of not only Texas Tech, but the Texas Tech Health Sciences Center, which has an established campus in the epicenter of the nation's livestock production. The collaborative model is unlike any in the U.S. and is designed to address the growing shortage of vets in rural areas, all while improving access to and reducing the cost of veterinary education. And this will be a way that we can very directly address the needs of the industry, as well as meet the needs of the rural communities for veterinary uh, clinicians. Those in the food animal industry agree. Texas Tech's plan is a good one, not only for the region, but for the entire state. I was very happy that Tech had decided to uh, start the vet school and, and uh, get some people focused maybe on more of the animal agriculture that happens in this area. I think Texas Tech's very well suited uh, to a veterinary school. Obviously they have a strong uh, program in animal science and agriculture, uh, as well as the infrastructure for the uh, Health Sciences Center and exist in one of the largest uh, protein production regions in the world uh, for both beef and pork. Also, uh, anytime that we can test and prevent a uh, disease of, of any kind, or of, God forbid an outbreak of any kind, that's where uh, Texas Tech uh, Vet School really can uh, shine. For Texas Tech Today, I'm Allison Hirth.